Okay, you guys, we are at Stan Pendis with Fran. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. This is just our new thing that we are all obsessed with is watching you paint yeah. with embossing powder. Okay. We're so excited. We're so you ready smart. to do this? Okay. Okay, can we show them? <clears throat> can I show them some of your examples first? Is that okay? You know, let's, if we pick what we want to do, oh. and I couldn't decide whether I do a butterfly or whether I do a scenic thing, and I don't remember what we've shown before. You know, honestly, so. I love your beach scenes because I'm a beach girl. Okay. So do you have did stuff we, to we do We didn't beach do beach scene? before. I don't think we did. Oh, then you got to see the beach. Okay, beach okay. scene. Is that okay? Or should okay. we let them vote? Why don't I? Yeah. Okay. All okay. right, so you got your choices. Go ahead, Fran. Tell them what your choices uh, are. We can do a beach scene, or we can do an island well, scene, or butterflies. Uh, so you uh, Uh, beach is winning. Sorry, you guys. You got to do beach. Do it, do it. Okay. Okay. So let's see. We'll get something started, and then we'll preview some other things while it's melting. How's that, that for a perfect. plan? Okay. So you are using a griddle. Yes. Like a pancake it's literally griddle. Literally a pancake yes. griddle. Yes. Okay. And I've got it set on about 300. Okay. Which is the perfect um, temperature. Okay. And then I can work on any number of surfaces here. So these are some really nice little laser cut chipboard. And this is literally just chipboard. Yeah, You're chipboard. Not, you this is a nice put that weight. You on your um, griddle without yeah. having any problems. Oh, right? sure, sure. Okay. And embossing powder by itself is kind of brittle. Yes. So putting it on a surface like this is the perfect thing. I love it. And I'm working on a craft sheet so that... I don't have powders all over the griddle. Okay, understandable. Good idea. And if you can see here, this is the deep impression. This is the chunky clear powder. And I'm going to spoon a whole layer of this over the chipboard this until I the cover deep the edges. Yes. And it's the chunky clear. The chunky clear. Embossing powder. So one base layer of this is going to give me the thickness I want. And then any other powders could go on top, even so detail you're powders. The, paste, the base because it just gives you a place to start. Yeah. And it's almost like gessoing your canvas. Is that, yeah. 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 Okay. Could be. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So now I'm going to put this clear lid over it, and okay. that's just going to speed up the heating time. I may even turn it up a little bit, and we'll let it sit there, but we can see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Until we see through. Yeah. So while that's melting. Is it possible to overcook it or? Do you um. It'll, It'll go a, a little bit thinner if it just totally oh. stayed on there oh. for too long. Right. But next, I'll show you um, what I'm going to do as part of my little beach. And I don't know if you want to do a preview of, of the pin I'm wearing up yeah. here. This is where what we're going, is which is that? so fun. That is embossing okay? powder, Isn't that you fun? It it's a new medium. You have to have embossing powders, and then you paint with it. So let's create some little puddles. So I'm going to take some more of the clear powder, and I'm just sprinkling it on another craft sheet. And then just to add that hint of blue, I'm using this clear color called Pacific. And a little bit of that is just really gives me the look of the puddle that I want. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Then I'm also you using... You really just used the tiniest bit of that. that yeah. Is, okay. Yeah. It and it melts quickly. Much. Yeah. So here's some chunky white, and I like this because the large granules melt, and they give me all these frilly edges. I like that. And this could become my clouds or the little bit of surf on top. So right now top. you're kind of preparing a little bit yeah. of, uh, I mean, what I call you? this puddle painting. Puddle How's painting. that for a... <laughs> Hi, inventor. <laughs> for a puddle term. Painting. I okay. love it. These are very technical terms. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this off the heat, and it'll cool so that I can handle it later. And if you get a big mess going while it's warm, you can just wipe it down. Okay, that works. Okay, oh, so here we are. are okay, ready. so now I need to reach some of the blues over here. So now I have a whole bunch of opaque colors, okay. and I'm going to start with a sky blue. Well, this is baby blue. And this is my sky Oh my sky gosh, look at how it just here. spreads. So I don't know if you want to get the angle from the other side. I kind of have to have it Over this here, way to see. Okay. 
see how it just spread itself right out there. Yeah, so now there that could be my horizon line. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Is it looking upside down? At least you can yeah, see, see kind of what's happening. So even if you just did bands of color, I can turn it a little bit here. So now I have all of these, okay, we've got all these blues. Now this mix is called golden sand. And if I do a whole foreground of this, oh, now I've got that. a beach. Instant and you could just, beach. yeah. Just like that gives you a nice abstract. But now let's add a little bit of a the Pacific blue again. And this one is clear, but I love how it melts into the opaque colors. And that's the one that you had originally um, mm -hmm. put as just to create your yeah. little puddles. Yeah. And it okay. just adds instant texture and dimension. Yeah. And you don't realize like that is not paint. It is embossing All powder. powders. So it's like a cloisonne, but you're doing it yeah. without a kiln. It's very immediate to do it just right here. Oh my goodness. So now here's my fun little puddles. So let's put a puddle in there. And look at that. Now you immediately have a little wave coming across the beach. Can you turn it to where they're seeing it right side up? Oh, sure. Here, let me go this way. Okay, that's probably, yeah, okay. Now let's add some little clouds up here. And those are just your little puddles. Little puddles. That you made. And you can break them up into any. Yeah. And thing. now. Lump here on the top of the surf, and let me get this white. So my chunky white that I used to start this, now I can do some little splashes of that. Isn't sea that fun? Spray. Sea spray. And can you help hand me the glitter, the the crystal glitter? Yes, please take this board and deliver it because <laughs> I want to get down here to the Okay, now we're adding this multi-crystal glitter mix. And, and look at that. You, Can you see that? They're uh -huh. It's wow, so fun. They're absolutely gorgeous. It's being recorded. Okay. So That's now... Yeah. So now I'm just taking my craft knife. Let's say these clouds looked kind of squarish or something. Uh -huh. I can just play in them. Oh make a God, little wispy clouds and then let's take this to our wave look at that it just adds like a little splash well, going through isn't that wild like you could even use a toothpick if you, you know if yeah you didn't have yeah a knife, any point yeah So now, to get one other thing ready, I want to stamp a script type words into the sand. So I'm using my gold metallic ink, and I'm just stamping this up ahead. Well, I'm going to make a deep impression oh, into the sand. Okay. And let's see, it's, I'm running out of space here. Okay, so, thanks. Just before I take it off the heat, and look at that, it just keeps moving and adding a beautiful pattern. Slide it, and look how that cleans all the edges. Yeah. Okay? That's a neat trick. Okay. Then I take my spatula and lift both layers off, get it on a flat surface, and then I've got my stamp ready and I'm just going to stamp right into it and I can feel it sink down in and sometimes right away it will come away and other times let's see I'll take this off we'll let it cool a little bit yes 
Yeah, it would be really fun to embed all kinds of things into it. Yeah. So once your stamp cools, whether or not you have ink on it, still real warm, then we can pull the stamp away. I'm kind of rushing it. Let me let it sit there a minute. Because sometimes... Mm -hmm. Awe of what you're doing. <laughs> they are loving seeing this. It's so fun. It comes out different every time. And that's it's a unique piece yeah, every single yeah. time. And I love it. And you're painting. So it's still quite warm on the back. Okay. But as soon as your stamp cools, it'll oh, come out. Go. There we go. So doesn't that look like writing in the sand? It absolutely looks like writing in the sand. And then the story behind it. There you go. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Um, who's at the office? They're, they're gone. So I guess it's Laura. Laura. Laura is answering all the questions. So this is oh, great. Okay. <laughs> as they're asking the questions, she's able to answer them for you. That's perfect. Okay. Smart. That's Laura. Yeah. That's Laura. Thank you, Laura. A couple more little tips here. When it's warm at this stage, I can just um, clear away an edge just like that. And you could take scissors or your craft knife yeah. or anything. And then another little tip, if I put this back on the heat, oh, I can stand it up oh, and clean an edge that way as well. But that came out quite clean it really and is so beautiful. beautiful. It's still warm. But not too warm. So yeah, it cools quickly. You can only do this on chipboard. The chipboard gives it stability. Okay. So this one was a thicker board, mm -hmm. and other ones that I did with the butterflies were on a thinner chipboard. Okay that I could cut to match my stamp shapes. Oh, so these okay. were the wafer dies that will cut the thinner piece. Okay. okay? That is so so cool. let's Can show you, you yeah, so let's spread it? out a couple of different things here. Oh. This is what she just made. This beautiful beach Actually, let's look at these Riding other scenic the scenic. ones. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, so these are the scenics. Okay. Are you kidding me? We got me? desert. Oh, I love it. Look at the art. We've got a little lagoon of some kind in the oh next my one. Gosh. Poppy fields, sunflower the poppy fields. Field. So, beautiful. so, in the same way that we made the puddles for the beach, uh -huh. sometimes I'll create other little shapes like this. Yeah. That's and how then, you did your yeah, so for the flowers, you could see how you could put one shape on top of another and, in, you know, create some interesting shapes. Yeah, so they're saying the poppy fields is a puddle add on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that so beautiful? Yeah. They're, they're ready to go play with their embossing powder. Yeah. Pancake griddle. Uh -huh. okay, and then this was And amazing. this was fun with the tree. That's Andy That's Skinner's, fantastic. yeah, stamp set. And then let's show Marvelous some butterflies. Beach. Oh, sorry, you That's were okay. still looking at that one. Beautiful um, scene with the flower field in it. How awesome is that? Yes. They said they love Andy's stuff. Now I need a pancake griddle. I love that tree. <laughs> it's fun. And you've got some butterflies. So she just used the butterfly stamp. So you can see all different colors and patterns. Good. It's just my favorite fun. of all time, Crystal Aww. says. Oh, here. Okay, here you can see so the, the stamp set. This and is the die set. The die. And here's the stamps Perfect. that go with it. These are some great shapes so and sizes. Yeah. Your beautiful embossing pencil. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um, and then I don't know if you wanted to see the canvases a little bit that are on the wall back here. Okay, so we're going to come over here so you can see the canvases that Fran has painted and created. Yeah. Go that way. There, perfect, perfect. So I created the top.
tiles on the griddle and then you putting them onto the canvases gives you infinite possibilities of doing some other stamping or painting onto the canvas. And then I use the Dreamweaver paste. Uh, here was the matte black, for example, you but it gives you taking mixed media finish. to another yeah. level, Karen. I'm having <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, this is the crackle paste there. But this one looks for all the world like a ceramic tile. It absolutely And does. it's all embossing powder on and chipboard. chipboard. Mm -hmm. So this is just embossing yeah. powder on a piece of chipboard. So that looks like a ceramic tile completely. <laughs> They're all totally yeah. crazy. This is a translucent paste on the fern. That is so beautiful. And then over here, I did my stripes, yes, like, like the puddles. Yes. And then you plop them all in. So, and then. Yeah, if you're Fran, you just plop them all in. If you're me, you're <laughs> See, like, you do stripes this way, oh, and goodness. then you drop in all the little pieces. And then I did the Dreamweaver stencils with regular paste and adding a little bit of uh, stencil color. And this one with the tree almost looked like a Raku ceramics. It just went really black. It got really hot. And so it just, you never know what's going to happen. Very fun. And here's more trees on this one. So lots of fun techniques. Yeah. A lot of it was just recycled boxes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But this looks like mosaic of tile pieces. They were just all random shapes and sizes. Look at your little and bird. You little guys. bird. Yeah. It's like playing in the water. Yeah. How fun. This oh, is the cool. shabby, shabby pink and shabby rose colors. And the dream text stamped into the aged silver gives you a beautiful, uh, yeah. And we see all the detail. Yeah, and the sunflower fields. Uh, you can do some beautiful home decor pieces in whatever colors you want to do. You are having too much so, success with this. This is amazing. Like, see all the, the pieces are unique. They're mm -hmm. never going to come out the same. No, no. So really much fun. fun. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so y these girls are kind of... Losing it over here. They are <laughs> loving it so much. Should we come back in the booth yeah, so the yeah. booth is behind us? Thank you, Becca. Okay, okay so love the trees. Um, I kept stopping at a booth at the paper art show last week to yeah. look at her just to watch. It's so fun. People are just loving watching them. Um, so yeah. you can adhere beads or other things while it's warm and they'll mm -hmm. stick. Yeah. You um, can some beads and jewels, when you press them in, They'll make an, in, an indentation. Okay. But after it cools, you might have to put some glue to hold them in. Right. Because like it's not shells, really a glue. If it's the powder goes inside, right. that'll kind of secure and it. It'll hold so, it on. But it'll have a place to sit back in. Perfect. So that'll Does that work. make sense, you guys? And then mm -hmm. glitter, mica. Oh, yeah. Throw it all, all in. That, put it all <laughs> in there. And they have so many different types. Yeah. But should we just yeah. show them this yeah, wall right here? Yeah. You know, actually, we've got this set, which has 14 small jars, but you get all of the scenic colors that you would want. These there are mostly the opaque okay. colors, but you've got sand, and you've got colors for any different scene. And and then the encrusted jewel kits usually oh get two gosh. embossing powders and three other elements or inclusions and that work on a color scheme. And the spoonful mixes, like the rust is a favorite, it's all in the baggie. And when you toss it into this as your tray, oh. then you just spoon it on and you've got instant rust. Oh, my or goodness. So Snowflakes or confetti or whatever. So. so, you guys, there are a ton of choices, a ton of different choices. And these inclusions are so beautiful, too. Yeah. And the fragments, the mica pieces. So they're saying, I need to get that 14 pack. Yep, yep. you do. <laughs> and sand beach, love it, love the encrusted. See, wasn't the good. sand, wasn't the beach a good choice? It like was. that one just, I love it so yeah. much. So <laughs> we have a giveaway, and Robin's okay. gonna pick a winner. Do you know what you guys are giving away? Jacob's got it over here. Hi, how are you? Oh, sorry, Dan. Hang on one second. Thank you. Whoa.
Oh my goodness. Okay. You guys ready for this? You want to show them what that is? We've got a Kling Santa stamp. I got it. We've got. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. And wonderful. this can go into the embossing powder. Oh, yeah. Okay. And our clear stamps, too. Okay, clear yeah. and the red, red and rubber. We've got a house mouse and a sweet little mice and a little bird. So cute. And we've added a Dreamweaver stencil. Aww. Last time when we watched Louise do her stenciling, everyone yeah. was so inspired, you guys. We need to watch that video. She's yeah, amazing. this one with glitter or paste, oh, any yeah. of the techniques this will be really you nice. You can do a lot with this. So you can stencil it just like a normal stencil with yep. chalk, but then you could use it with the modeling paste mm -hmm. and make a beautiful background. Okay. And an embossing folder. Yay, so this beautiful. one, I'll turn it over and you can see the contrast a little bit better of the design, which is really beautiful. So, so the leather stencils, I want it all. Love it. The bird's so cute. <laughs> um, so the lucky yeah. winner is uh, Rose, Lily Rose. Congratulations. Okay. Yay. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Always so much fun. Okay. I love seeing you. Good. This thing that you're doing it's is fun. just. Deep impression. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Deep impression. So you guys, um, this will go up on YouTube, and they'll be able to okay. watch it again. Wonderful. But it was beautiful. beautiful. Okay. Thank you Good. so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Say bye Love to friends. Thank you. Aren't they great? <laughs> They're beautiful. They're fun, huh? <laughs> so thank you, Fran. Okay. And you guys say goodbye to Fran. Bye-bye.